Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's Gabriel Times Fan TV. Back at you on know, that video at the contents video. Go ahead and smash that like button on the contents channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, um, like I saw it off last video, I saw this video saying that uh, give like a Demar Hamlin kind of update. They said last thing I heard was that he opened his eyes. He's talking to his teammates, talking to his family. So that's all great on that front. So happy to hear that after seeing what happened Monday. You know, get to be on here Friday. You get to that point. It's great news. So kind of also speaking of Demar Hamlin and the fact of the Bills and the Bengals, <clears throat> the question is about now what happens with the game, right? You know, there was an uproar on Twitter because the NFL has decided the game with no contest. They're not going to replay the game, things like that. Um, so fans that just had, you know, Demar pray for Demar Hamlin as their profile picture are now saying things like, well, you know, he's okay, so they should replay the game. Like, you know. It's crazy how quickly things switch up like that, you know, how they can go from massive concern to not concern about their team, right? Listen, I get it. We're football fans. We all want to see um, our team do the best as possible. But look, this is unprecedented events. Something like this hasn't happened before in a long time, really, if ever, okay, on the football field. Um, I think they said maybe a while ago, like a... Uh, in like the 50s or something, somebody might, somebody might have, you know, almost died on the football field. So it's been a long time since this kind of thing has happened, all right? That's the first thing. Second thing, like, this is about DeMar Hamlin. Who, who cares about whatever else is going on, all right? And also, last thing I want to say is there is no fair solution, bro. There just isn't a fair solution. The Bills had a chance to get to the one seed. They're going to miss out on that. The Bengals had a chance to get to the two seed. They're going to miss out on that. And then, you know, obviously I'm a Ravens fan. Um, if the Bills beat the Bengals, we got a chance to win the AFC North, right? And more than likely, we're going to miss out on that. I think the Bengals have already officially been declared AFC North champions. So, like I said last time, congratulations to them on that. So, I want to start to be like, did the NFL screw over the Ravens? Did the NFL screw over these teams? No. There is no way to make this fair. There's no way that you're going to do something that everybody's going to be happy, right? The NFL is trying their best to the possibly way to do this thing, all right? They're even talking about, I think it got to prove that, you know, if it's Bills and Bengals in the AFC Championship game is going to be neutral site. If it's Bills and I think if it's Bengals and the Chiefs, it's going to be neutral site. Like, so they're 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 trying different ways to make it as fair as possible, bro. All right, like when something like this happens, that's just unprecedented. Let's stop thinking about well, how does this affect my favorite team? Because I guarantee the players on your favorite team are more concerned that what's happening with Demar Hamlin than whether or not they're going to play a home playoff game. Okay, and also if your team is as good as you think you if you think they are. They're going to go into anybody's house and win that game. All right? Not saying home field advantage don't matter. Of course, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is let's get over that. All right? The positive thing is, hey, DeMar Hamlin's all right. You know, or not all right, but he's getting better and things like that. All right? What is your team playing the playoffs? To me, it's not really that big of a deal. All right? And as far as from a Ravens fan perspective, right? Oh, it's not fair. We could have had a chance to win the division. This is this. Listen, the Ravens had five games. Five out of these six losses, they blew. Dolphins, Bills, Giants, Jaguars, Steelers. They blew these games. If they win one more of these games, this game tomorrow for Sunday is for the AFC North outright. Okay? So let's get over that as a Ravens fan, right? The Ravens blew this themselves, right? Come on now. We're talking about, what, 18 points versus the Jags, almost 20-plus points versus the Bills, I mean versus the Dolphins. Bills get shut out in the second half. Giants collapse in the fourth quarter. Steelers offense can't score um, when they're at, uh, plus at the 40 yard line to end the game. The Ravens blew that. The Bengals played better down the stretch than the Ravens, and they deserve to win the AFC North. Right now, what is good for Ravens fans is the fact that um, they still have a chance at the home playoff game, which is kind of crazy, right? So the scenario is if the Ravens win, if the Chargers win, which means the Ravens will be locked into the six seed. And also, they would have the same exact uh, amount of wins as the Bengals with a better division record. Um, it will come down to a coin toss to who gets the home playoff game in a 3-6 matchup. The Ravens will still technically be the 6 seed, no matter what in that scenario. But they win the coin toss, the home playoff game, they'll get a home playoff game. All right, now, crazy, unprecedented. I can see how Bengals fans can feel slightly, can feel slighted by that. But, you know, it is what it is. Like I said repeatedly, this is unprecedented scenarios. Everybody's going to have something that they're going to feel angry about, something that that's not going to sit right with them. It is what it is, bro. Like, to me, it's not that big of a deal, honestly, right? And I'm going to go back to my previous point. If you're the you're the fan of the Chiefs, the Bills, and the Bengals, you should feel like no matter where your team go to play at, 
they can win that game or they're going to win that game, right? That's just how I feel about it, to be quite honest, all right? Um, now, um, I know that there was other talks about like a week 19 or something like that, but that only disadvantages the Bills and the Bengals, bro, because then they, they get to play, they have to play a week unto themselves while every other playoff team gets an extra week of rest. So that's even not a good solution, all right? So there was just nothing that they could do for the NFL besides just call a no contest. That's that's really it. That's really what I wanted to say about that. Um, so listen, man, you know, the, the Bills and the Bengals, could they feel slight about that? I mean, sure, you know, fans can feel how they want to feel, but I guarantee those players, um, they're happy that, you know, DeMar Hamlin's all right. That's, that's what they're thinking about. And if, they got, and if, that's, if this means that they got to win a neutral site playoff game, so be it. That's what they got to do, right? And as far as Ravens fans go, I would I would advise you to go back and look through the Ravens schedule and see that the this situation didn't blow the the, um, the division for the Ravens. The Ravens blew this for themselves many many weeks ago, all on their own. All right. Now also I want to do the game status for this Ravens versus Bengals game. Um, so we're going to get into that right now. Now so out for the Ravens, Lamar Jackson with the injury. John Harbaugh actually um, kind of expounded some more on Lamar Jackson for once. Uh, kind of was fully transparent about it, just saying that, you know, it's one of those things that's just hard to recover from, things like that. And it's just that um, he didn't know when he was going to come back. He's hopeful that he'll return for the playoffs, right? Now, my thing is this. Now, John Harbaugh would have just said that from the beginning. We wouldn't have had all these reports about what's going on. Uh, is there – is he skipping training? Uh, is he skipping rehab? Stuff like that. Like, all that's been squashed. They said the athletic trainers are working as hard as they can. Lamar Jackson is working as hard as he can. If you would have just said this from the beginning, there wouldn't have been no controversy. Right? Simple as that. Um, so, questionable. We got Tyler Huntley with a shoulder injury. Deshaun, they got three players with an illness. Deshaun Jackson, Kavon Seymour, and Brandon Stevens all have illnesses. So, I'm not really quite sure what's going on with that. But it is what it is. Calais Campbell has a knee injury. And Marcus Peters has a calf injury, okay? Now, for um, Calais Campbell and Marcus Peters, I would say that they're kind of more in the game time decision category, feeling, seeing as though they came back to practice later in the week. I think those two guys have a, a good shot of playing, okay? Um, now, two guys with no injury designation, that's Jason Pierre-Paul and that's Ronnie Stanley. Both rest, both guys who don't usually practice on Friday, so there's nothing really um, strange about that. It just is what it is on that situation, all right? So, just to recap the game stats, Lamar Jackson's out. John Harbaugh gave full transparency about what's going on in the process, so that's great. Um, Tyler Huntley, shoulder injury, questionable. He hasn't really thrown all week. John Harbaugh said that Anthony Brown has been getting reps with the first team and that if Anthony Brown needs to come in and play, he will be ready to play. So, there is a possibility that Anthony Brown will be playing this Sunday um, versus the Bengals. It's, that is a very distinct possibility, okay? Um, Deshaun Jackson, Kavon Seymour, Brandon Stevens, all illness, and I would say Calais, Campbell, Marcus Peters, look for them to probably come back this Sunday and play. We'll see how much they play, but I figure they will be back in some capacity, all right? So, that's, uh, that wraps it up for this uh, edition, man, you know what I mean? It's your boy Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. I'm out.